In this video, we're breaking down everything your eye doctor wishes you knew about IOP, from what it is and why it matters, to how it's measured and most importantly, how you can manage it. Have you ever wondered why your eye doctor checks your eye pressure during routine exams? It's not just another box to tick, it's a key factor in protecting your vision for years to come. Imagine this, you're going about your day, feeling perfectly fine, while silent changes are happening in your eyes that could lead to irreversible vision loss. Scary, right? That's why understanding intraocular pressure IOP is so crucial. Intraocular pressure refers to the pressure created by the fluid within your eye, a critical factor in maintaining its shape and function. Imagine your eye as a sturdy balloon, it requires just the right amount of pressure to hold its structure without bursting or deflating. This pressure is primarily regulated by the aqueous humor, a clear fluid that flows continuously in and out of the eye. This fluid not only provides nutrients to vital eye tissues, but also helps remove waste. However, when the drainage system for this fluid becomes blocked, like a clogged sink, pressure begins to rise, setting the stage for potential problems. Under normal circumstances, IOP falls between 10 and 21 millimeters of mercury, a range your eye doctor monitors closely during routine exams. While this range offers a general guideline, individual differences matter. Factors such as genetics, age, or even temporary actions like lying down or sneezing can cause slight fluctuations in IOP. For example, you might have a momentary spike after rubbing your eyes, but this isn't typically a concern. What eye doctors look for are sustained deviations, particularly increases, which may signal the onset of conditions like glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Elevated IOP can put significant pressure on the optic nerve, the vital link between your eyes and brain. Think of the optic nerve as a superhighway transmitting visual information to your brain. If this highway becomes damaged, it can lead to blind spots or even vision loss. This damage usually happens gradually, making it hard to notice until the issue has progressed significantly. That's why understanding and monitoring your IOP is not just about managing a number, it's about protecting your long-term ability to see the world clearly. The role of aqueous humor in maintaining IOP cannot be overstated. This fluid operates like a well-coordinated irrigation system, ensuring every part of your eye gets the nutrients it needs. When this system functions properly, the pressure remains stable, and your vision stays sharp. However, if the drainage channels falter, it's like water pooling in a blocked pipe, the resulting increase in pressure can strain your optic nerve. This imbalance is why eye health professionals emphasize the importance of monitoring IOP regularly, especially as we age or if there's a family history of eye conditions. Understanding IOP is the first step toward taking proactive measures for your eye health. While it might seem like a straightforward concept, the implications of abnormal pressure are anything but simple. In the next section, we'll explore why managing IOP is critical for preventing conditions like glaucoma and preserving your vision over time. Intraocular pressure might seem like a minor detail, but its impact on your vision can be profound. When the pressure inside your eye rises above the normal range, it begins to strain the optic nerve, a vital connection that carries visual signals to your brain. Think of it as a highway for your vision. If the road is blocked or damaged, the flow of information slows or even stops. This is how elevated IOP silently chips away at your eyesight, often without any immediate symptoms. It's no wonder glaucoma, a condition directly linked to high IOP, is called the silent thief of sight. The optic nerve is incredibly sensitive, and sustained pressure can cause it to deteriorate over time. Imagine filling a balloon with water. If you add too much, it stretches and weakens until it bursts. Similarly, when IOP stays elevated, the optic nerve fibers begin to fray, leading to blind spots in your vision. These blind spots often start in the periphery and gradually close in, a progression so subtle that many people remain unaware until the damage is advanced. This is why IOP isn't just a number, it's a critical indicator of your overall eye health. While some people may be more genetically predisposed to elevated IOP, lifestyle factors also play a significant role. Conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, and even prolonged use of steroid medications can contribute to increased eye pressure. Additionally, habits such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and poor diet may exacerbate the issue. For instance, Incorporating leafy greens and omega-3 rich foods into your meals can help support eye health, providing your body with the nutrients it needs to maintain proper function. 
Glaucoma is the most common condition associated with high IOP, but it's not the only concern. Elevated pressure can also lead to ocular hypertension, which, while not yet damaging to the optic nerve, serves as a warning sign of potential future issues. Regular checkups with your eye doctor are essential, especially if you're over 60 or have a family history of glaucoma. These visits allow for early detection and management, giving you the best chance to preserve your vision for years to come. But how do eye doctors measure this invisible yet critical force? In the next section, we'll explore the tools and techniques they use to monitor intraocular pressure, providing a clearer picture of what happens during an eye exam. When it comes to measuring intraocular pressure, eye doctors rely on precise techniques to ensure accurate readings. One of the most common methods is tonometry, which may sound intimidating but is actually a straightforward and painless process. The air puff tonometry, for example, involves a quick burst of air directed at your eye, measuring the resistance of the cornea to estimate IOP. While it might make you blink or flinch, it's over in seconds and gives doctors a reliable baseline for your eye health. For a more detailed measurement, some doctors use contact tonometry, which involves gently touching the cornea with a specialized instrument. Before you panic, rest assured that numbing drops are applied to your eyes beforehand, so you won't feel any discomfort. This method provides even more precise data, making it an essential tool for detecting conditions like glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Imagine it as the difference between a snapshot and a high-resolution photo. Both are valuable, but one gives finer details for a clearer picture. Eye exams are more than just routine check-ins. They are your first line of defense against vision loss. For people over 60, regular IOP checks become especially critical, as age is a significant risk factor for glaucoma and other eye conditions. During these visits, doctors may also assess other aspects of your vision, such as visual fields and optic nerve health, to get a comprehensive understanding of your eye health. Think of it as a thorough car inspection. Checking one part isn't enough when the whole system needs to work together. Interestingly, advancements in technology have made monitoring IOP even easier. Some devices now allow for at-home IOP measurements, enabling high-risk individuals to track their pressure levels between visits. For instance, handheld tonometers or wearable devices can provide real-time data, empowering patients to take a more active role in their eye care. This innovation is particularly useful for individuals with fluctuating IOP, ensuring that any significant changes are addressed promptly. But understanding your IOP is only the first step. Knowing how to manage it and what to do if it's elevated can make all the difference in preserving your vision. In the next section, we'll dive into practical strategies and treatments for keeping intraocular pressure under control, giving you actionable steps to protect your eye health. Managing intraocular pressure effectively starts with simple lifestyle choices that can have a profound impact on your eye health. For instance, regular exercise not only benefits your heart and lungs but also helps lower IOP. Activities like walking, swimming, or yoga are excellent options. Just avoid exercises that involve headstands or heavy weightlifting, as they can temporarily increase eye pressure. Coupled with a diet rich in leafy greens, omega-3 fatty acids, and antioxidants, you can create a foundation for healthier eyes. Adding foods like spinach, salmon, and citrus fruits to your meals provides the nutrients your eyes need to stay resilient. Beyond lifestyle, Monitoring and controlling IOP often require medical intervention. If your eye doctor identifies elevated pressure, they might recommend prescription eye drops to help regulate fluid production or improve drainage. These medications are incredibly effective but require consistent use. Skipping doses can undermine their benefits. Think of it like watering a plant. The best results come from steady regular care. Some patients might need laser treatments or surgical procedures like trabeculectomy to create better drainage channels, particularly if medication isn't sufficient to keep pressure under control. Proactively monitoring IOP is equally important. Regular checkups with an eye specialist ensure any changes in pressure are detected early. For those at higher risk, such as individuals over 60 or those with a family history of glaucoma, this can make a significant difference. Some doctors recommend at-home monitoring devices for patients with fluctuating IOP. These gadgets, ranging from handheld tonometers to smart wearables, allow you to track your eye pressure in real time, much like a blood pressure monitor. This kind of data can help your doctor adjust your treatment plan more effectively.
It's also essential to avoid behaviors that might inadvertently raise IOP. For example, prolonged use of steroid medications, excessive caffeine consumption, or even neglecting hydration can affect eye pressure. Simple changes, like swapping that extra cup of coffee for a herbal tea or staying consistent with your water intake, can make a difference. If you're already managing high IOP, having an open conversation with your doctor about potential triggers or risky habits ensures you're not unknowingly making things worse. While maintaining healthy IOP might seem daunting, Taking these steps can significantly reduce the risk of optic nerve damage and long-term vision loss. Now that you know how crucial intraocular pressure IOP is to your vision and overall eye health, the question is, what will you do with this knowledge? Are you ready to take control of your eye health and prevent potential vision loss? Remember, regular checkups, simple lifestyle changes, and following your doctor's advice can make a world of difference. If you found this video helpful, why not share it with a friend or family member who could benefit from this information? Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more valuable tips for staying healthy and informed. And before you go, there's another video waiting for you right here on the screen. It's packed with insights into keeping your eyes and your entire body healthy.